Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel. You like this video, you give your opinion at the comment section below and don't forget to share this video. This evening, there is a video I'm receiving where Ndidi Nyoro yesterday came out delivering a bad news to William Samoe Ruto. As you know, William Ruto came out appointing Kimani Ishungwa to be the leader of the team from Kenya Kwanza government that uh, is going to have a dialogue with the Azimio team. I think this is not a picture that has enticed Ndidi Nyoro as it seems like he is so terrified and he is not comfortable the way Kimani Shungwa is leading that dialogue as Ndidi Nyoro is coming out calling for termination of Azimio Kenya Kwanza talks says it is a waste of time. But ladies and gentlemen, according to my opinion, I think for me, I support dialogue. Because where dialogue is, let them communicate, have addressed their issues, then settle these all wrangles in between the Kenya Kwanza and the Azimio. But again, when you ask me, when it comes to this dialogue, is there something good that is going to come out from this dialogue? I will say absolutely nothing. Nothing is going to come out from this dialogue. And my reasons are there. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, I have a video of Nini Nyoro. When Nini Nyoro is coming out, calling for termination of Azimio, Kenya Kwanza talks, as he is saying it is a waste of time, of time. there's nothing that is going to come out from that uh, dialogue. So watch the video of Nini Nyoro then. Hapa Murang'a na mimi naongea kama mbuke wa hapa. Mimi nasema tulifanya maneno ya kura na asia. Maneno ya wanasiasa tukapata nafasi ya kuogoza. Hatuwezi kila siku ni kazi ya viongozi. Siku viongozi. Kila siku viongozi. Sasa hawa wadosi wote viongozi, wadosi hawa wetu kabisa wananchi waliongea agas rasia. Na wakasema huyu pia ataogoza. Na wakasema mwingine atakuwa leader of opposition ama atafanya kazi ya kucheck wale wametaguliwa. Kwa hivyo with no with no doubt and with certainty me as the Nyoro and the people of Muranga, the people of Kiharu, the people of Kenya, we are pleading that tomorrow as the talks resume, the first agenda should be actually to terminate the talks. Tunasema sasa tuachane na hii mazungumzo. Mazungumzo yanatupeleka wapi? Tuendelee na maneno ya kazi ya kujenga barabara, kazi ya kuweka maji, maneno ya kuongea. Sisi hatuungi mkono, tuachane nayo, tutembelee na kujenga Kenya yetu. Na hii maneno mengine yote, huyu barozi akiongea anatukanwa. Ana Sisi wana siasa, tutulize boli. Hawa wazungu wote hata wa America, Gereza, wote tunafanya biashara nao. So that is the statement of Ndili Nyoro. But when you are keen enough, when Ndili Nyoro is coming out to give such sentiments, he is having certain objection, objectives towards his sentiments. There was one thing that I believe in, is that Ndili Nyoro is saying that the first thing that Kenyans, Kenyans must understand is that this talk is all about our dosi. It is all about our dosi. That nothing these people are talking about in Bomas of Kenya. And that is why at the same time when I start this video, I told you, if someone will ask me today, if you are supporting dialogue, I will say, yes, I'm supporting the dialogue. But again, at the same time, 
I will tell you that there's nothing much going to come out from this dialogue. As we speak today, Kalawazo Msoka was not there. He leave this mantle to the minority leader of Pio Wandai. We don't know where Kalawazo Msoka is. But again, when you look at the focus of Nilinyon, it's like there is just like a fallout in between himself and Kimani Shugo. And my reasons are this. When William Samuel Ruto was sworn in in the office, and even in fact there are certain videos I have analyzed here, where Ndili Nyoro is that person who is possibly having a good chance when it comes to the politics of Mount Kenya region. So for Ndili Nyoro, he did not want a kind of association of Kimani Shungwa and William Samuel Ruto. When William Ruto took over and was organizing his government, you saw William Ruto came out appointing Kimani Shungwa. Kimani Shungwa as his majority leader, leading members of parliament in the majority side in National Assembly. Then it means that everywhere that William Ruto is going to have his meetings, Kimani Shungwa is there. Kimani Shungwa is there. Even if William Ruto will go to Rift Valley, Kimani Shungwa is there because he is leading some members of parliament that escorted William Samuel Ruto. When William Ruto is going to Kiambu, Kimani Shungwa is there. Yesterday they were in Kisi, Kimani Shungwa is there. When William Ruto is in Busia, Kimani Shungwa is there. When William Ruto is in Homabe, Kimani Shungwa is there. Everywhere. So it seems like Ndeni Nyoro is looking like this dialogue is going to betray them as Mount Kenya region. Number one. Number two, this uh, Kimani Shungwa is betraying his popularity because now, despite of him not most of the time being part and parcel of the meetings of William Sonruto, he has been appointed as the chairperson of the business committee in the National Assembly. You know, and that is whatever is happening. Dili Nyoro wants to be so close to William Sonruto because there was a certain narrative that we were told that Kimani Shungwa is standing a good chance of politics in the Mount Kenya region. And that is why he wanted to be so close to William Samuel Ruto. Because there were a possibility of people saying that when you compare Ndini Nyoro and Rigadi Yashago, Ndini Nyoro is a young man that is coming very well when it comes to the politics of Mount Kenya region. So he wanted to be so close with William Ruto as William Ruto could have come out to prefer him with many things. But the way he was appointed as the chairperson of business committee, Ndini Nyoro has not been so much um, having meetings with William Ruto. Though I know as a chairperson of business committee, most of the time they might have meetings with the president. But when you look at the contact in between Dean Yora and William Ruto, then contact in between Kimani Shungwa and William Ruto, Kimani Shungwa is so much, um, let me say, is so much popular when it comes to the connection where William Ruto will visit, Kimani Shungwa is there. So Nini Nyoro sometimes is not there. So it is a kind of push and pull in between Ndini Nyoro and some Mount Kenya leaders. Again, at the same time, I told you here, there are some members of parliament who do not want this kind of dialogue. Because in any case, there is going to be an agreement in between William Ruto and Raila Mulubinga. These members from Mount Kenya region, led by Rigali Gashago, they are feeling like there is a possibility how betray you. And they, even today, Rigali Gashago came out saying that there are people... Of course, them from Mount Kenya region, they always trust someone. But in any case, you're going to betray them. Then they will never trust you again. So the scenario there, when you look at the statement of Nini Nyoro, these people are just terrified about the dialogue. And this issue of dialogue is causing a lot of problems in Mount Kenya region. As these members of parliament are not part and parcel of this dialogue. Even despite of Kimani Shunga coming out to say that at least dialogue is progressing well, but we, do not, we don't know whatever is going to come out there. And that is why I told you, if you ask me today, I will say nothing is going to come from dialogue. Even despite of the importance of this dialogue, nothing is going to come out. Because this kind of push and pull in between this side and this side, I don't see. Because themselves, they also don't trust the dialogue. It is as a meal that it seems like they are forcing themselves in this dialogue. 
So that is the scenario that is happening with Ndidi Nyoro. Perhaps that is my opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, what are thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till we meet on another video.